Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a background to your screen recording. Now, I've had so many comments about this, and it's really hard to explain um, what how to do it in the comments. So I decided to make a video for you guys, just showing you guys how I do this for my videos. Now, this does depend on the kind of phone that you have. So I have the iPhone XR, so you know the form factor is a bit different from previous models of iPhone. But I'm going to be showing you guys from the previous models of iPhone, so iPhone 8, 7, 6 and later, how to add um, your screen recording with an iPhone background. I still do this with my type of phone, but that's a totally different way of doing it than this method. Let me know if you want to have a video where I show you guys how to do it with um, newer iPhone models. But yeah, this video is so I'm going to be doing the basic one with just iPhone 8 models and earlier. So I hope this helps you guys and that you can now create some cool videos with screen recordings. Now, these are the only two apps I'm going to be using, iMovie and Fonto. Um, I wanted to use iMovie just because I know not a lot of people have money to buy editing programs and mostly other editing programs that you have to pay for can have this feature way easier than iMovie, but there is a way to use iMovie for this. So I'm going to go into Fonto, this app here. It's a photo editing app, adding text over photos, etc. And I'm going to click here at the bottom and I'm going to create a plain image. And then I'm just going to choose one of these. I'm just going to choose the white one. And up here, you want to tap on that. And you want to tap on custom. And then I'm just going to say 1280 by 720. The reason I'm typing this um, size in is the perfect size for a YouTube video. So um, it won't be cropped or anything. And then down here on color, we want to tap that. And then you can add a color if you want to. You don't have to, but... Um, color goes a long way. So I'm just going to choose a very plain color for right now. Maybe that. And here you can see I have other color boxes. So if I click white, it makes an ombre effect. You can edit that as well. So you go up here to vertical. And then you can click horizontal or vertical solid or horizontal solid. But I usually like vertical. And then once you've selected your colors and everything, you can click up here to apply. Then you want to click on that export button and click on use. Now we have this thing here. Now, what you want to do now is go to Safari. And as you can see here, I just typed in iPhone 8 plus PNG. This means this background is transparent and you only have um, the phone here. So you want to do that and then you just want to save that image to your camera roll. You just long press on the image till that menu pops up at the bottom. Now we're going to go back into Fonto. Click on these three lines down here and click on add image. So I have the image here now and I'm going to click on done top right. And then this is the image on my project. I'm going to click on size and I'm going to make it bigger. So my desired size. So this is the photo that's going to be in your video where the screen recording is going to play over. Now you can also add text here, which is something I like to do. So I usually add the title of my video. You don't have to. You can just put it like in the middle of the screen and maybe add some decorations around. It's up to you, but I usually like to just add some um, text to it just to make it more full and not so plain. So I'm just going to say editing screen recordings. It's just faster. It's not such a long title. Okay, and then I can also edit the text um, by setting it to the center, the alignment. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, you can also play around with the style of the text here. You can see style here. And um, you can play around with the color. I think I'm just going to make it like a dark gray. You can add a stroke around it if you want to or a background if that's something you want to do. I'm also going to click here on style at the top and then I can add a shadow to my text to make it more 3D. You can edit the spacing of your letters and you can underline it. And I'm also just going to adjust the font. Okay, so here we have my photo. Not the best, but um, it's just fast. 
so yeah this is what it's gonna look like and then when you, so you're done with this you're gonna go down here and you're gonna export it and say save image here now what you want to do is you want to go into iMovie and start a new project and you're gonna go to movie and then now i just imported this image here as you can see it is moving around if it does that you just want to click on the video in your timeline and you want to click on kin burns enabled to disable it and then you're going to just pinch this until you have it in the right position so it won't move around anymore now what you want to do is you want to click on this plus button here wait first you want to just make this a little longer maybe the length of your video if you want to um so then this is okay it's one minute now but anyway then you want to click on the plus button here go to video And you want to go to all or wherever and then you want to select your screen recording that you want to use in your video so this is just a random screen recording that i took and then you want to click on these three dots and you want to click picture in picture so as you can see it is the square image now and it has a border around it if yours has a border all you need to do is tap on the screen recording in your timeline and click on this square option here you can also move your screen recording around by clicking on this these arrows here so you just tap that and you can move it around and then this magnifying glass if you tap on that it says pinch to zoom so you zoom it out so like so until you have a full screen recording now like i said my my screen size is different from the phone that I model that I have here. So it's going to be a little cropped because of the different screen size of the newer iPhones. Um, so as you can see, it's a bit cropped, but that's also okay. And now once I've done that, I can now move it um, until I have it in my screen here. So I'm just going to blindly go and kind of see how I want to do this. Maybe like so. Uh, maybe move it a bit more to this side and there you have your screen recording in your phone it's really easy you just have to position it right if you use the right model so like you have just like maybe an iphone 8 or something or a 7 or whatever um it will fit perfectly in here without cropping it like it did here at the bottom for me but um that's how you do it i really hope this was easy enough for you guys to follow through i know when i started off editing this is something that i also wanted to do i just had no idea but it's actually super simple you just put your screen recording over the iphone screen and if you don't even use imovie you can use different apps as well with the same method it's basically the same thing so yeah i hope this helped okay so that is how to edit your screen recording so it has a background of an iphone i really hope this helped you guys if it did please a big thumbs up it really does help and comment down below any other questions you have for me and I will try to reply to all of you guys. Click on the video to see my previously uploaded video and click on the playlist to see other YouTube tips and tricks videos. So it's other tutorials like this. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys so much. Bye.